Hey everyone, welcome back to the Our Society Experiment and today's Making the Movement. In today's Making the Movement episode, we're going to discuss some of the plans we have uh, going on for April in terms of user acquisition and who, how we're going to target and, and gain more users. Uh, you're kind of harkening back to yesterday's episode. Uh, one of the things that I, I saw came up, I got some feedback from the students from uh, our initial civic engagement seminar, is you know, how are we going to grow this? Because, oh, it's cool that you're doing it and we're really excited. Uh, the feedback was very positive overall. Um, however, there was some concern about how do you scale this. So I want to be more transparent with our plans to do that. Uh, I'm being transparent really for two reasons. A, so if you have feedback, you can comment below uh, and give it to me on how to improve you know, the concepts we're doing. And B, if you have time to volunteer and help, that would be pretty tremendous because you, uh, myself and the other volunteers at, at our society, uh, our biggest asset is time, right? And that, that really goes for all of us. It has nothing to do with our society. Uh, as human beings, time is our most valuable asset. So we want to make sure that we're, we're maximizing that. And we can do so much more with just a little help from everyone, whether that's fiscal help uh, through a donation uh, or time help you know, through helping us kind of get these seminars. So today, what I did was I, I uh, you took the snowpocalypse day, which if you guys are in the Northeast, uh, you know how how devastated the, you know, in here in New Jersey, uh, the roads are bad. And what started off, you know, is something what we, I believe was going to be nothing has turned into quite a snowstorm. And these days for me, I love snowstorms because they happen to be some of my most productive days. And I know that's counterintuitive. Uh, a lot of people like to enjoy them and I do you know, like to enjoy them. However, snow days are nice because there's, there's really no interruptions, right? And I, I find that for me, that allows me to really dial in my focus and dive deep into some of the some of the platforms and programs that we're trying to develop. So today specifically what I did was we created a list um, of every high school in New Jersey, in all 12 districts, congressional districts. We broke it down by districts. And we highlighted um, the high schools that are gonna be in the districts of the candidates who are running for office using our society platform. So for example, um, we highlighted all the, the high schools in District 7, we highlighted the candidates in, in District 6, uh, and we've we've made note, we haven't done all the work to highlight them, but District 2, we have a potential candidate who might be joining on. So we, we did that as well. So now we have this large list of all these high schools that are going to be in the areas of the candidates who are running. And that's really exciting because that allows us, when we do our civic engagement seminars, I mean, first, that's really the purpose, right? We're going to reach out to these high schools uh, with the intention of offering our free civic engagement seminars. Uh, where we talk about you know, civic engagement, uh, money in politics, voting, uh, and we kind of bring these issues to the forefront. These are things that you would be surprised how knowledgeable um, these teenagers are uh, and, and just of the current you know, doings and happenings. And I, I have to say, that is really a credit to their teachers. Um, the teachers I met with so far during our education programs have just been really phenomenal and enlightened educators. And I'm fortunate where I also have a personal network of friends who are teachers that um, have really helped me shape the curriculum and course uh, to really you know, really resonate with the students. So our objective is to kind of really dive in deep with the Gen Zers. Um, I'll save it for another video to kind of go into detail, but I, I really do believe Gen Zers are going to be a catalyst generation um, in that they are going to be a huge force for change, uh, social change, uh, economic change, political change, and ideally uh, myself and the other millennials can lay a, a solid foundation for them in our efforts um, because there's no excuse anymore. We know how, how bad things are. We know how corrupt money and politics is, uh, and we have to act. So our society is kind of getting on the ground floor with these students, showing them the platform, onboarding them onto the platform, letting them know that making the right voting decision is now easier than it's ever been before. And you know, with that, kind of giving them the opportunity to really dive in and get to know these candidates or use our social value matching algorithms just to make a, the right decision, right? To have more agency in the voting process. And that's a big part of the Our Society you know, value add, is giving people agency. Because at its core, that I think is what, what people lack. And, and why a lot of people don't vote is just the lack of sense of control and, and contribution. So with that said, you know, that, that kind of leads us to our, our, you know, our next steps is we're going to reach out to every single one of these high schools, get these seminars going, get these classes going, and ideally they're going to have candidates on the Our Society platform. Now, this is something that, you know, within our current paradigm, it, with only four candidates, I can manage, I, you know, I, I can dedicate a lot of time to. But as we grow, we're going to be looking for volunteers. So if you're an educator already, or if you think you'd be interested in kind of, you know, reaching out to high school students and, and volunteering in that aspect, you should totally comment below or email us at info at oursociety.org. 
uh, and let us know because we could use that kind of help. Um, that would be pretty tremendous. We have all the programs. Um, our our site curriculum is it meets uh, social studies curriculums within New Jersey, so it, it meets us through the requirements, which is nice. Um, and we have that documentation to, to provide to the, the schools and the uh, the teachers. So we we've put a lot of work into this program. We have articles to keep it relevant, and um, we're right now we're kind of phasing it in. You know, we did one. Uh, one seminar, we're going to do a second one. We may keep the seminar as a two-part seminar, or we may kind of condense it into one. We'll wait for more feedback on that. Uh, but again, this is just a quick Making the Movement update for a daily vlog of, of what we did today on our, our Snowpocalypse Day, how we maximized our day, how we got into some deep focus and some deep work. And uh, yeah, I, I just can't help uh, but be excited about it. I, I love the opportunity to speak to the Gen Zers um, because they are really... They are an information generation like we've never seen, and, and that is a really exciting opportunity to be able to work with them and hear their perspective. Uh, so thanks so much, guys, for tuning in to this Making the Movement episode uh, and the Arsite Experiment. Of course, we will see you guys next time.